Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at multifunction shelf buttons, which is a pretty secret feature. So I don't see a lot of people using these, and they're super powerful, so let's get into it. So if you're not familiar with shelf buttons in Maya, basically what you can do is drag any tool or function to a little button on the shelf here. And when you click that button, it runs the tool or function. If you don't see the shelf tabs, uh, go up here to the little gear icon and just uh, tick this box to show all the different shelves that come with Maya or the shelves that you've made. So we're going to make a uh, little temporary shelf just for the demonstration purposes of this video. So click the gear again, and we're going to go to new shelf, and we're just going to call this YouTube oops, tutorial uh, just for fun. And you can see it's over here. Um, it doesn't matter what you name the shelf. You can name it whatever you want. So what you can do to get a command or function into your shelf is uh, just hold control plus shift and then click anything um, from any part of the uh, file menu interface. Uh, so for this example, I use fill hole quite a bit. And so I've actually got it on a button down here. But um, for the tutorial, let's just go into mesh. And then we're going to go down to fill hole and we're going to hold control and shift on the keyboard at the same time and then left click. And you'll see instead of running the tool, it actually made the icon over here. And so now we have a shelf button. So now if I go over here and just select the edges and I click this button, I can fill the hole. And so I can just, whatever, I'll just delete it again. And I can just keep reusing that button over and over again as much as I want. So it's kind of like a little shortcut into a function um, or a tool or something. So as well, let's go into mesh display. And we will look for, let's go with uh, Harden Edge. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift again on the keyboard and left click and add that here. So um, as you can see, when I click that, it'll make all the edges hard. Whoops, I have the wireframe on, so it's hard to see. So every time I click that button, it's going to harden all the edges on my selection. Now, the super cool thing is you can modify the buttons after you've created them. And there's like a secret trick in here uh, that no one seems to know. Uh, which is super powerful. So when I'm working on normals, there's basically three kind of tools that I will use uh, under the mesh display setting here. So I'm going to use harden edge, soften edge, and um, soften harden edges. And so basically, uh, I'm just going to tear this menu off by clicking right there just to demonstrate. So this has 100% soft edges right now, and it looks all fucked up and wacky shading on it or whatever so we can harden the edge and then now it's all hard um, we can soften the edge go back it's 100 percent soft and then you can use the soft and harden edges so i'm just going to go into the options box and if you set the angle to 30 i think that's the default you just reset it yeah if you set the angle to 30 basically what this is going to do is it's going to try to soften and harden the edges between the angle threshold so this can be really helpful for mechanical models uh, because it can give you kind of perfect normals without having to manually set them so I'm just going to click the button there and then just get out of this so we can see. So you can see it's actually softened the cylindrical parts of the model, but then hardened the right angles because they passed that threshold or whatever. Um, so I'm going to use a combination of these three things when I'm working on normals on pretty much any model. Now for the secrets. So go up here to the button that we made earlier, right click it, choose edit. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring you into the command that the button is running every time you press it. So when we press the button once with the left mouse button, it's going to run the soften normals command, which is this little piece of mail code here. Now, the secret part is over here on this tab, there's a double click command. So if we find out what the harden command is, we could put it here. And then on top of that, over here on the pop up menu, we can actually add a little right click menu that comes up and have as many commands in here as we want. So first we have to find out what commands we actually want in there. Uh, so we can use our same little trick that we did before, go to mesh display, just tear that off again. And we've already got hardened, so we know what that is. And then we need soften. So again, hold control and shift and then left click soften. It'll make us a new button soften. And then we can do the same thing for the soften 30. Okay, cool. So we've got our three there now. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to right click the one that we know is soften, just click edit, and I'm going to copy that line of mail code, close this, go back to the one that is harden our first button, and uh, go to the double click command and paste that in there as well. And then just click on the, the shelves, excuse me, and say save all shelves. 
and then go into the third one to get our third command, which is the poly soften harden 30 or whatever. Again, control C on the keyboard, close it, right click the first button, go over to the pop up menu, and then click a new little plus icon here. And uh, we are going to call this um, soften 30. You can call it whatever you want. And then the little code that we're going to run here is what we have in our clipboard. So let's paste that in there for the soften harden. And again, click on shelves and then click save all shelves. So in theory now, we don't need these other two buttons. So you can just right click and delete it, right click and delete it. And now we're ready to test our multi-function button. So this is exciting. So if I left click it, single click, I get harden. And if I double click, left click, I get soften, so cool. And then if I right click it, I can go down here and say soften 30. So magic, super powerful. You can do this for a bunch of different buttons and then reduce all the clutter uh, in your workspace and also just make it like way easier to remember instead of having to go into here and do one, two, three or whatever, have three buttons to do the same thing. You can merge it down all into one. You can do all types of cool stuff like with merge verts, you could have single click, like merge all verts to one threshold and then double click, merge all verts to a different threshold or right click, you could like set the threshold or whatever. I don't know. You guys can explore and do a bunch of different cool stuff. If you like this video and want to see more game art tips and tricks, please click the subscribe button. As usual, any links will be in the description. If you got any questions, post them in the comments area. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have an awesome day.